Hi YouTube, welcome back to the channel, and this is Incoherence, another indie game I found on itch.io, and I don't, I know not a lot about it, I know it's a very short game, um, it tackles some pretty difficult subjects, so viewer discretion is advised, there's going to be some uh, mentions of things like self-harm, suicide, abuse, that sort of thing, it's a heavy game, but it's a short game as well. Obviously if it's a YouTube video, I'll cut out anything that goes against terms of service, or just blur stuff out, as I normally do, but but uh, yeah, you've been advised there will be there will be some triggers in this video. But it's going through someone's um, journey through guilt and loss and acceptance and desperation and things like that. So it's one of those games that I think has an important message. But we'll see how it uh, how it is conveyed. It could be great. It could be terrible. But I hope you like the video. If you like it, you can like it. If you dislike it, please dislike it. But without wasting any more time, let's dive straight in. Boodip. She is dead. She is effing dead. There's the mild nudity we were promised. <laughs> Move and interact. I need to get dressed. Yes, you do. There is a humongous phablet. Uh, my therapist has not called yet. Oh, I can just... Oh, prescribe drugs. I rather smoke. I rather smoke. Uh, who is this? This painting calms me down. Yeah, interesting. There's no, there's no noise. Oh, no, there is. It's super quiet, though. So I'm going to keep it at a normal volume that I think would uh, be okay. What's this? Uh, uh, no need for the keys yet. Oh, I'm getting dressed. Cool. Now I need to wait for the call. Do I need keys yet? No? Okay. My therapist has not called yet. Okay. Plant. TV. Cannot turn the TV on. Uh, I'd rather not now. Okay. Can I go through doors? Not important for now. No need for keys yet. Oh. Uh, yes, Dr. Caltins. I didn't read the rest of that. Did I need to know what that said? I didn't read the rest of that. Okay, I need keys, so I need to leave. Presumably. Locked. Unlock it. Do I need... Oh, is it this door? Is this door? Uh, Dr. Carlton's room 18. Oh, hello. Who the fuck are you? What? What is going on there? <laughs> what is this? Why are there... What is... Is this game okay? 14. 4. There's, there appears to be body assets in the plants 15 16 hi there i can't i can't get past room 18 right oh no room 16 okay cool i was completely incorrect hi what's that for? Uh, thanks a lot for visiting me at the hotel. I understand this might be not be usual practice, but I really need to talk. Click. Uh, I'm glad you decided to do this again, considering your position and tragic circumstances. I'm more than willing to help. Can you tell me, once again, why did you decide to move from your apartment and pay a great deal of money for this hotel? Well, after what happened to my sister, I was unable to stay there. Every night, I had the same nightmare about her, and it was torture for me. I was lucky enough to get some money from my employer, uh, at least for now. I do not have to worry about paying the rent and I can enjoy the hotel pizza. <laughs> Kate, this is not healthy. You have to face the issue right up front. You cannot live in this hotel forever. You talked about the nightmares. Can you describe them to me? Uh, they are very real at times. I forgot to change the thing, didn't I? The game. My apologies. Two seconds. Uh, incoherence, isn't it? Incoherence? Is that a game on here? Oh, it's a game with one follower. 
Fantastic. Right. Sorry about that. They're very real at times, but usually when I wake up, the nightmare doesn't end. I have this deep feeling, more like a voice telling me to do something. Click. What does the voice tell you to do exactly, Kate? It's very important to say it out loud to ensure that it is not real. The voice tells me to kill someone. To kill? Who? Does the voice specify a person? A name? Is it somehow connected to your sister's suicide? Kate, I need you to focus on this. I don't know. It just tells me to kill. I see my sister and she's surreal, but there's something off about her. Something sinister in her voice. Demon. Kate, does your sister tell you to kill someone? Do you see her? Do you see your sister in this room right your sister in this room right now? Oh jeez, I do now. Kate, Kate, Kate! Fuck yeah. Oh I, I, I'm sorry, my head hurts. The medication is not helping at all, and I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get out of get her out of my head. Kate, I need you to stay alert at all times. I will prescribe something for the headache. We will meet again in three days, all right? If there is an emergency, please call me. All right, all right. I will try and do the medication technique you talked about. Thanks again for the talk. It means more to me than you can imagine. I'm looking forward to the next visit. I honestly thought that mask was going to change. Honest to God, thought that mask. I should go to my room now. Where is my room? I can't remember which room. Again, that's not how plants work. Anyway. Hi. You alright? Okay, well, can't speak to you. Was it this one? Nope. Was it this one? Yes, it was this one. Oh. What is that on the table? What is that on the bed? More like it. What is... What? What? Ah, God. Dear Mrs. Anderson, we hope that finds you well and I want to extend our appreciation for choosing Valley Visa Hotel, uh, Valley Vista Hotel, uh, as your... for your recent stay. Unfortunately, it's come to our attention that there are some issues that require immediate attention. We've received multiple complaints from other guests and our staff regarding loud banging noises and an unpleasant odour originating from your room. She is a stinky lady. Uh, to ensure the comfort and tranquility of all guests, we kindly request that you please adhere to the hotel's noise policy and be mindful of your noise level. If there is a specific issue or concern that requires our attention, please do not hesitate to contact our front desk. We appreciate your understanding and cooperation in this matter. We look forward to the remainder of your stay at a hotel. Right, Mouse Putzka. Whatever, I should put these clothes in the closet. Got it. Closing closet. Somehow I feel tired. I should now lay down. Okay, I'm going to go to this side of the bed because that's the side of the bed I was on. I'm going to look at this painting because it calms me down. Do I need to take these drugs? No. I'd rather smoke. <laughs> Who is knocking? Can't they leave me alone? Wait, can you hear this? There we go. Now you get the full the full audio experience. Who's knocking? Excuse me, hello? The fuck? I should close that. What? Th is it this one? It's this one. God. Jump scare time. Oh, the lights. I should get my phone. F, use phone. Oh, where, where am I? Locked. Are you going to say this painting calms me? No. Locked. Vending machines. We can get some food. Locked. I, can't, I still can't run. Oh, locked. Excellent. <laughs> right, what's this one? Uh, why the F did I even come here? This hospital is rotten. I wish my sister was here. But as usual, she has too many effing problems to deal with. Unlike me, a drug addict who is trying to break free from all of this. Drugs? No? Uh, how do... So where... Is it just going to be a case if I go back this way? Locked. 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 Uh, okay. Locked. 
That wheelchair is also locked, apparently. Locked. Oh, now this is unlocked. I get it. Oh, we're PTing. It's an endless corridor. I mean, I'm down with this. Don't get me wrong. Locked. Locked. There's a poop bucket. Uh, I can't... I can't interact with this door. This door doesn't exist, apparently. Oh, no. It's locked. <laughs> So now, is there going to be a spooky... Oh, there's something on here. Here we go. Every day is the same loop. I go to the hospital. I go to this hospital, get some medication, try to be a better self. Yeah, but what's the point? My sister doesn't give a shit anyway. I might die tomorrow and she won't even remember. Do I now get to go out of here? I do now get to go out of here. Oh, excellent. So we've got to find another note. Some... That... Re that uh, records or vinyls? I'm not sure which that which that is. Um, I'm gonna go with records. Not records as in vinyl records. Records as in medical records. Uh, so I gotta go to here, and then presumably go back and find the note because I didn't see one just then. Unless no, that's locked. Nope, that's locked. Ace, is it in here somewhere? No? It's not in here. I don't think it's in the vending machine. It's not on the pin board. Or is it between the vending machines? No? That felt like it would have been a good, a good spot for it. Oh, it's on the floor near the radiator. Of course it is. Uh, my medical history is pretty short. Nothing of value in broken in broken things. But maybe if my sister is interested, maybe if she can pick up the phone at least once, at least once, be curious. All I can do is hope for the best. Bullshit phrase. Oh, do I not? Nothing here. I should search. Oh, okay, cool. So there was no, there was no, nothing to tell me that I was searching for for files. Then I honestly thought there was like a psychopathic book monster behind me or something, or creepy mannequin man. What does that look like? That looks like something I've seen in media before. Um, demographic details. This mm, year old patient presents for alcohol and cannabis withdrawal. History was obtained from the patient. Chief complaint, I want rehab I have been using. Uh, general history, circumstances of admission. Patient is a single mm, year old AA woman uh, with bipolar disorder, alcohol and cannabis abuse, other mm, dependencies who was admitted in with symptoms of depression, including C-A-N? C-A-R? Uh, C-A-H, sorry? Of voices, including something of voices telling her to hurt herself. Uh, she has done outpatient program and wants to change her life this time. Referral papers reviewed, discharge summary, discharge instructions, physical exam reviewed. Right. Now do I go this way? Do I calm myself by looking at this painting? Don't think I do, and I think I'm going to get a spooky jump scare. It feels like a spooky jump scare moment. I'll be honest. It's not! Wow, I'm so... Oh, there's one! Well... Hiya. You're right. You're just gonna disappear, aren't you? Look at your bloody hands. <laughs> it sounded like somebody dropped a billiard ball on a table. <laughs> uh right. Wait, what? Oh, okay, cool. Oh the battery died. Now what? Oh no. <gasps> Now I get to use the computer? Oh no, there's a note here, fine. Do you feel it now? Do you feel guilty? You selfish bitch. You abandoned me when I needed you. You made a promise. You said you were always going to be with me. Go back, go back and end this. So I'm assuming, oh hello, all right. There's a, there's a naked lady over there. I'm gonna get taken down by Twitch if I'm not careful. Go back, like go back, back. Oh yeah, go back, back. Yeah, I should check on my sister first. 
Wait, what? What? Where am I going? I should go check on my sister. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh, no. It's a lot of blood in that bathtub. A lot of blood in that bathtub. Do I need the key? No. I don't need to leave. Am I just going to go to sleep? No. I should check on my sister first. I should check on my sister first. I'm, I don't know what to do. Am I clicking on something? I don't know what I'm clicking on. Have I broken it? What am I supposed to do? I should check on my sister first. How do you check on... Oh! Gun! Oh no! Oh! So that was Incoherence. A very short game with a couple of jump scares. Exactly what it says on the tin. Um, very short, uh, quite heavy experience. A couple of jump scares in it and some very heavy references to some very sensitive subjects. Don't know if it was handled in the best way, if that makes sense. It felt a bit clumsy, um, but it is a game, and I, I, you know, I didn't fall through the walls or anything like that, and the monster was a little bit spooky and appeared. Even though when I was expecting it, it did make me jump a little bit, so a good effort. Uh, probably never going to play it again. Would probably never recommend it, if that makes sense. Um, but I hope that, you know, um, uh, Epish Box Games goes on to do more stuff. Uh, maybe without the heavy-handedness of trauma-related instances. But that's just myself. Anyway, if you like this video, I hope you like it. If you dislike it, then dislike it. But let me know in the comment section below. Um, but other than that, stay safe, stay spooky, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much.